Teachers of art are so much more than crayons and marker drawings. Art teachers have the privilege of seeing children express themselves in ways they will only do in a supportive environment like an art classroom. When students feel comfortable and safe, they will create works of art that become extensions of themselves, sometimes using their art to communicate issues they won't even talk about. Of course, students have different external components that will affect their art making, but nonetheless, most kids enjoy the simple act of being creative. Victor Lowenfeld was a psychologist, author, and art educator that understood all of these ideas at an expert level. He is responsible for creating the stages of artistic development and writing one of the most influential books in art education. Victor Lowenfeld's developmental stages in art, scribbling stage, pre-schematic stage, schematic stage, dawning realism, pseudo-naturalistic and adolescent age, were his most notable contribution to the world of art education. He also firmly believed art instruction at every level should be filled with opportunities for creative and mental growth. After Lowenfeld named these stages, doctors, psychologists, and teachers could now have conversations about cognitive development, environmental awareness, and intelligence based on what they found within the artwork of children. These stages relate to the overall development of most children. Victor Lowenfeld was born in Austria in 1903. As a child, he loved to paint and he was a prodigy on the violin. He attended two different art colleges, got his doctorate degree, and went on to teach at the elementary, secondary, and eventually college level. Because it was unsafe for him to stay in Vienna where his family lived due to the German invasion, he left traveling first to London and then ended up in America. Around this time, the world was starting to care about and put focus on art created by children. In 1936, finger paints were introduced in America in elementary classrooms by Ruth Fashion Shaw, who developed them in 1931. Then in 1937, the Museum of Modern Art was given a grant to work with neighboring schools and displayed children's artwork within the museum. This interest in child's art came at a great time for Lowenfeld to share his research and how important he thought art truly was. In 1946, Lowenfeld was hired by the Pennsylvania State University where he developed the first art education department and became its chairperson. He also was responsible for creating the first comprehensive graduate art education program that emphasized research. Lowenfeld's book, Creative and Mental Growth, became widely used and respected, was published in numerous editions, and translated into several languages. As Lowenfeld said in this book, because art is essentially an expression of the self, and because there are no right answers in the teacher's stack of books, the teacher of art becomes a crucial person in art production. Victor Lowenfeld credits the art teacher with creating an encouraging and sensitive environment where children can express themselves through their art in a confident, safe place. When these conditions are met, children are sure to show creative and mental growth. Lowenfeld was passionate and knowledgeable about art making as it relates to a child's development. His research books and artistic stage development will live on as an important part of art education forever.